inside of the barn from the feed lot. You can see it's nice and wide. It allows our uh, mixer to go down through. We're able to just use a um, leaf blower to blow it out, clean it out here. And eventually we will get uh, slanted uh, gates at the front for the calves and the cows to eat. Up at this side, we have uh, our lock gates here. So if we need to do vet checks, we can, or shots, or whatever we need, they can just come up here, we can lock them in. We also have uh, three pens. You can see we have one, and then down here is two, and down at the end is three. Each of the pens have um, gates that come across with a quick connect to divide them. Like this right here. Um, and that gate will swing back and there's a quick quick connect right there um, that we can pen the calves and the cows back if we need to um, for easy switching. There's also a gate like this at the back of each pen um, that we can switch if we need to. We can bring the whole herd that's in one pen forward to the feed lot and then um, move another herd back into the next pen and we can switch pens that way. Um, we also have frost free waters. Um, we made sure when we built the, the barn that the pipes were buried and um, that we didn't have to worry about pipes freezing in the barn. So we have our frost free waters. Um, and then we have a gate back in the back that um, they can, uh, we can run them over to the pasture if we need to. It goes straight over to the gate in the pasture. I don't know if you can see that from here. I can go around, but you can see there's the gate in the front and the gate over in the pasture, and that runs them right over to the pasture so we can um, get them in and out from the pasture. And I will attach a video um, link in the comments down, or in the description down below showing you um, when we were getting them in from our blizzard this past winter, um, getting them back into the barn so you can see how that works. So that is a clip of the inside of the barn. So here's a view um, from up high. You can see the three pens. You can see the gates in the back there that go across over here um, and then they can run up to the feed lot. We have this uh, pretty high uh, ceiling in here for excess manure storage. We don't have to clean it out right away. Um, makes it easier for that. And I don't know if you can see there's a little ledge up there that they can eat at so they're not eating off the ground. Right now we have a big pile of hay in here that they can, we'll use for bedding or they can eat through it. Um, we do have this enclosed on three sides. You can see the far end. Um, there are sliding doors that cover each of the ends. Um, and then each of the sides has uh, curtains that we can put up and down, and I'll show you that in detail a little bit later. Um, but the back end here is open, where I am. Um, we left this open just because, uh, to let the heat out. Um, also, the wind typically comes uh, from the other end of the barn um, and from the west side. So that's why we put the curtains in and the doors on the other end um, to prevent weather from coming in and from if we need to shut it down for the wind because it does get rather windy here. Um, typically we don't get wind from this side of the barn so that was why we chose to leave this end open. I just want to show you here um, this is the one end of the feed lot where the cattle can go up we're able to keep this cleaned out fairly nice. Hey, tizzers. Um, 
and we just push it down out here. This is where we can store some of our um, manure. Here we have um, the tire attachment for the skid loader. That's what we use to scrape the manure out. And what we'll do is we'll pile it up here um, until we have a field ready to put manure on. We can use the skid loader and just empty it into our manure spreader right here. And we're able to back in and then pull out um, and go spread. So this is a nice setup here that we're able to um, store our manure if it gets too full in the pens. All right, so these are our curtains. This is how we um, put the curtains up and down. Just get a drill, um, put it in, it's like a PCO shaft. And just kind of let them go down. We like to do this every once in a while, um, just to kind of dry the curtains out. Uh, make sure they don't get molded or that there's no mice in. You the curtains, you know. Make sure that they're dried out every once in a while. So there are two sets of curtains. We're going to put both of them down. And then it has a nice um, little kite cage here. We have it so we can bungee it when it gets really windy. And this just closes. The reason each of the straps is twisted is so when the wind blows, um, they don't smack against the curtains and rip the curtains. That is intentional. Um, so that's what. It so here's the other view. This is from the south side of the barn think about it for a second um, and I'm gonna take these curtains down as well so here's what the barn looks all closed up um, and when we did open the top curtain or shut the top curtain there was a bunch of dirt that fell out the mice will run right along that um, roll um, and so we want to make sure that they're not up there eating the curtains or anything. So that's why we do that every once in a while. You can see the curtains closed on either side. Um, this is looking from the south side yet down um, towards the open um, end of the barn. And then here is the west side, all closed up. Mom. You can see. Mom. And just looking across, everything closed up. Now there is um, the doors here. These also close. We have latches on them. Watch out. And they are just on a roller track. So when you're getting a really um, strong storm coming through, you just close everything up. Watch your fingers, Fee. So there you have it. barn is all closed up. As much as we can.
show you here there are also latches that will um, close the doors and lock them if we need to. Um, yeah, get that in there, and then this just kind of locks down and it locks it in place. And there's one over on that side too that you can get to. This has a quick connect latch here that you can just open up to get in there if you would need to. So, just a shot there from the inside of the barn. So I just wanted to give you a big shot here of the barn. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And you can see over here um, is where the cattle can come out and um, and go over to the pasture. Over here right now we have it planted in corn. So we will uh, combine this corn, leave the fodder out here, and let the cattle out to graze on the fodder. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.